Americans love ice cream. We each eat an estimated 48 pints of the creamy treats a year. And the business of selling it is getting more and more competitive. But now one former Air Force vet is hoping to change how it's made. Ooh. You can't really see, can you? Think about it as kind of the, the cold plate ice cream on steroids. Jerry Hancock created Sub-Zero Ice Cream in 2004, the nation's first liquid nitrogen ice cream shop. So it flash freezes the ice cream, which makes it smoother textured and less air whipped, so it's a more premium product. Hancock says the problem with traditional ice cream is that 50% of it is air whipped. We found that a lot of people have problems eating normal ice cream where they won't with this as far as their stomach, and that has to do with the air content. So with this, we have almost no air whip. The former Air Force mechanic got the idea from combining his military skills with his chemistry degree. Because without that unique background, though that mixture, this wouldn't have happened. In the beginning, he used nitrogen tanks from military surplus because he couldn't afford traditional freezers. My first you know, portable tanks were military. Um, my larger tank, mid-sized tank, came from a nuclear lab, um, test lab. Sub-Zero has since grown to a worldwide franchise with 54 locations to date. We anticipate that the growth is going to increase. We're, incre we're growing at about 20 stores per year. We're gonna, I think we'll go to 50 stores per year in the next uh, year or so. And the biggest question he always gets asked? Everybody asks, is this safe? But nobody doesn't eat it. It's very safe. It's as safe as breathing. So nitrogen is just 78% of the atmosphere. So 78% of the air we breathe is, a, is made of nitrogen. So it's just as safe as breathing. I'm Jade Scipioni for FoxBusiness.com.